So I'm going to do an enclosed form. There are a huge amount of reasons to do enclosed forms, but I've got one good reason. Um, it's, I guess it's a not a cheater lid, but it makes lids a little bit easier because you're making it all at once. You don't have to do two separate steps. You just set the plan well enough ahead to leave yourself enough clay, and you need to know how to do it. So all this stuff is pretty much the same with it. I'm going to make myself a cylinder. I'm going to leave the top part alone and kind of thicker. It's got to do a lot of work at the end here. But the bottom I can make, you know, normal. All right, so cut the skirt off and shape it. Use the flexible model rubber death. Press on the inside. Press the clay. Make a nice little curve. I'm going to collar this upper area in. Let's hope I left myself enough clay. So. I'm going to collar or pull up a little bit and collar this area in, making sure I stay underneath the lip so that it doesn't just you know fall in. So I can kind of keep holding it up. I'm gonna almost close it up. Leave myself enough room for a finger. Then I'm going to go in and make an area for the lid. So this up here is going to be the lid. I'm going to make a part for the flange for the lid and an area for the lid to sit. Go back in and refine that. and then press in with a corner of my finger. Now I don't want to remove the clay. If you end up removing the clay, it becomes too thin, it'll just give up here. And then do the same at the top edge. And this is gonna drop down into the flange or the gallery on the lid. All right, on the pot, sorry. I'm gonna pull that stuff towards the center. So right now, kind of define this here. Sorry. Ah. Yeah, we're still in camera. Okay. So right here on the lid is gonna be where it gets cut. I'm sure I can see that there. I'm not gonna cut it yet, but it'll get cut there. This part is gonna be the lid then, and it's gonna fit down into the hole that that cut makes. And you know, if this all works right, it ends up being a quick an easy lid. Now closing it off, I want to make sure the inside is pretty dry so that it sticks together well. I'm going to squeeze until it pinches off. That'll give me a little nub there. And that nub, I'm going to press down into it so that you know it kind of compresses and sticks together. Otherwise you get cracks. Hopefully I got enough clay here. And I can press down with the rest of it and shore it up. There we go. And I'll trim it smooth at the end. And you cut. Mm-hmm. <laughs>